Hello and welcome to the Admin Bar, the community and podcast connecting people with the products, lessons, and strategies to help push their business forward. My name is Kyle Van Dusen from Ogle Web Design and Doc at WP. And with me, as always, is my good buddy and co-host, Matt Siebert from Matthew Siebert Design. How's it going today, Matt? It's going well. It's uh, it's kind of like a, a gloomy day out there, but I kind of feel like that's good for, for productivity. Um, we've been having a lot of like really hot days or really nice days. And on the nice days, I want to be outside. I don't want to be sitting at a desk. And on really hot days, it's it's just tough to work because even with an AC, it's it's rough. Yeah, it's been a uh, it's been string of 100 degree days here, so... Um, I could go for a gloomy day, but we won't have one of those for a while. Oh, but you know, it is what it is. It's been a while since we did this. I don't think we uh, purposefully took a bunch of time off, but with the, the cumulative effects of COVID and busy business and trying to get things in order and I'm launching a product and just everything else, we've uh, been on a bit of a hiatus, but I'm excited to get back at this and get going again. Heck yeah, no, I agree. So today, uh, again, Matt and I both brought a, a topic to the table. Neither one of us know what each other's topic is. And I believe I'm going first today. Mm-hmm. So mine has to do with actually finding um, finding some inspiration and kind of freeing your mind a little bit outside of uh, website design and development. So I don't know about you. Actually, I do know about you, but I don't know about you as in the audience. Um it's, it's pretty common to get in a rut and get kind of stuck doing the same. Like I've done the same blog post layout 500 times. And like, you know, you tell me to make an about you page and I'm going to, you know, like I'm going to pull one of the three layouts I know how to do out of the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're fine. And when I'm getting paid for a job, it's probably good enough. And, uh, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't, it doesn't get you motivated and excited to do these things. So I do the, the, the normal things most people do, um, you know, look at other websites and I got a bookmark folder where I, uh, where I have bookmarked layouts and color inspirations and all kinds of things I like. Um, so those normal things, every once in a while, I will jump into Photoshop or Illustrator here lately, Adobe XD, and play with some layouts kind of outside of the browser. Um, I definitely find that I'm more creative if I'm outside of the browser because I'm so used to just developing inside of Elementor and like designing inside Elementor uh, because it cuts out a whole step of the process. Um, it seems to be more profitable and quicker that way. But it's uh, easier however, to, you- to fall into that like rep- yeah, you, like repetitive nature of things. Yeah, you almost just start bringing in all the modules the way they come styled and maybe doing a couple little tweaks to them, but you're like designing using all the pre-built like modules in mind, right? So every once in a while, I'll jump into XD or, or Illustrator and, and play with some layouts and things. But I found here something uh, recently that's really helped me a whole lot and it has nothing to do with web design. And that is I've started picking up my guitar again. Hmm. And I've gotten, uh, I go through waves of this where I'll get super fascinated with, uh, with music and guitar in particular. Um, but I did some work on my, my other guitar, which I've moved, uh, did some work on it recently, got it nice and set up. And I've started watching a lot of like musician YouTube channels, almost everything I subscribe to on, on YouTube or musicians, guitarists in particular. Um, so I've started watching a lot of like tutorial videos on like how to play, you know, cool songs or whatever. Uh, and then I started getting into like how, uh, certain, um, companies, Fender, Gibson, whatever, how they build guitars and how they come up with new designs and why things are wired a certain way or whatever. And just getting into like this whole other field that's also creative, uh, Mm -hmm. getting out your guitar or your instrument and playing it. I feel like now when I come back to doing web stuff, like my mind is more open and expanded. Like I've kind of primed myself for being more creative because I've done something else creative. I'm pretty obsessed with making websites. Like I spend most of my time doing this, but to find, to, to like actually exercise some of those creative muscles outside of sitting in front of the computer has made me feel better about when I'm sitting in front of the computer. Yeah, that totally makes sense. And like similarly, um, I I subscribe to this uh, this YouTube channel called Company Man, which uh, if anybody's interested in business, uh, it's a it's a fascinating like micro um, documentaries where they'll take like the rise and fall of 
whatever business. Uh, the last one that I watched was, was Hearts rent, uh, like rental car mm -hmm. and like how they began the several different owners of that business and all of that. But like bringing it back to what you, you talked about, that's still a little bit worky. Um, sure. like it, it still kind of feels like it's work because building businesses and like, you know, marketing and like all of that stuff is, is day to day. And I feel like a lot of my like personal interests blend a little bit too much into work that yeah, even when too. I'm, when I'm doing what I want to do, when it's like my time off, I'm sitting down, I'm watching TV, I'm still watching something about business or about like right. growing your business or, or that type of thing. Um, but like when it comes to, uh, to like trying to clear my head, I'll go for a drive and I've found, especially recently that if I listen to a podcast, um, you know, even if it's not about business or even if it's just like a comedy podcast or like, you know, the Joe Rogan experience or whatever, like, you know, the, the biggest podcasts are out there. Um, if I listen to that and then try to go to work. I don't feel as productive as if I just listen to music. Like if I just listen to music, I'll get way more creative. Whereas podcasts, not so much. It's interesting. I mean, you can, uh, you're, you're more artsy than I am for sure. You can pick up a pencil and draw things. In fact, people could, uh, people could find a illustrated book you've created online if they dig hard enough. That is um, true. So, so you have that, that artistic side, another like creative thing you do. How often are you drawing at this point? Almost never. Um, actually I sketched something recently, a couple of days ago, I was just chatting to a friend and, uh, for some reason I drew, uh, her head on a squirrel body. Um, mm -hmm. so there's that, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, actually sitting down and, and drawing something like purely for pleasure. Um, I've yeah. done a couple of illustrations this year for work, but it's just, it's, it's not the same. Like I should be drawing more. I should be, you know, like expressing that a little bit more than I do. Well, my, my advice to you, just based on what I've just playing the guitar more and noodling around, it's not like I'm doing anything, uh, good or worthwhile it's just playing around really uh but i feel like it's just expanded my creativity some it's just like prime me for being creative so my my challenge to you would be uh this weekend why don't you sit down for a little while and just draw for fun and see if it uh see if it does the same thing for you man and you know it's funny i'm gonna go back to that like that whole all of my outside like extracurricular things are still kind of work-based like Recently, my last project, like outside work, like hobby project, was uh, building a, a display for my kitchen um, using a Raspberry Pi that would have like the date and the weather and like, you know, the, the Google Calendar and like all my tasks and all that stuff. Right. For um, stuff to do at work. Yeah. For stuff to do at work, yes. <laughs> but like, I mean, even this, like, it, uh, it's running a, a small, um, like web page and that's what I'm using to display it. So even my hobbies like pull <laughs> web stuff into them and like, yeah, well, you've, you've started uh, flying your drone more often for mm -hmm. work. Um, not technically for work. It's a, if the FAA is watching or anything, <laughs> but uh, just for fun, but work related things. Mm -hmm. um, but you've gotten out and done some of that just for yourself, just to play around with it too. Yeah. Yeah, be, for sure. That can be fun, creative, and something different to do. So yeah, that's my that's my thoughts. Uh, trying to get outside of website design and be a little creative. I don't think I'm the most creative person in the world. You can go look at my websites; most of them look the same. Uh, but it definitely does help just to be thinking creatively. Yeah, I actually. So that's what I got. Um, just to continue your conversation a little bit longer, um, for the first time in my entire life, uh, I've picked up a uh, like a journal and I've started writing because. One, I think it's going to be interesting to look back on when I'm like, you know, in my, 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 what, is, what do they call it? Like silver years or something. Yeah. Um, but even more so, I, I'm not that great at writing. I never really have been. Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm able to get my thoughts across uh, vocally much easier. But writing and writing well enough uh, is, is pretty important for what we do. Yeah. And so I think that just journaling for a little bit will uh will help that too because you know, it's it's like you're using different processes 
between speaking and then, you know, or thinking and speaking and then thinking and then writing it down. It's like two different pathways to your brain. For sure. And it also give the, the authorities a lot more clues as to what happened when they find your journals. I don't know why it's a running joke, but I mean, <laughs> it's, it's here, it's in my personal life. Like, what is it about me? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, if anybody's wondering, I have journals. <laughs> if anybody can get their hands on them, let me know. I will pay a, uh, a mighty uh, fee for those journals. Well, they've only got like one entry in them so far, so it's okay. not going to be interesting. I'd hold off for a couple of years at least. Hear me. Today was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Journal. It's me again. Um, so yeah, anywho, my uh, my topic is kind of in the same vein. It's funny how this happens, uh, but mine is more of a... I'm, I'm finding it and like, this isn't, there's no advice attached to this. There's no, um, this is just like maybe somebody else out there is experiencing something similar. Um, <clears throat> but like I'm having since like, since the whole COVID thing started and like, you know, my, my daily routine, which didn't affect me that much because I'm, I'm pretty used to working at home. I'm used to, to sitting in an office alone all day. Um, and that's always been fine, but like since this has changed, uh, like you know, society really, I've found that even so, like before everything, I um, I would go out on Thursdays with a group of friends to a to a local bar and like spend a couple hours there, and like that was that was enough. Like I enjoyed that, and so you know, every once in a while, I'd go out on weekends and join that same group of friends and do stuff. But like that's that's something that's been taken away. Um, like weekends are a little bit easier, but like, you know, midweek stuff, like nobody's going out, nobody's doing anything. Um, so within the last couple of months, like I've really, I've really gotten, uh, gotten a lot more like wanderlust. Um, like I need to travel. I, and I, I think that like all of this is culminating all at the same time where I feel distracted. I feel like I'm getting older all this time, like to myself and with my own thoughts and not being able to really like you know, discuss these things like I used to with friends and, and all of that, that, um, like, I feel like I'm getting older. I feel like I should be doing something more like not necessarily like, you know, work is going great. Like I'm, I'm not like procrastinating with like client work. I'm procrastinating with my own things, but like, I don't know. Like I just, I feel not burnt out, not in a rut, but just weird, I guess. And like, I'm, I'm focusing more on like the end of my life and like what I've accomplished so far versus like what's to come and like, what, what do I really want out of life? And like, this is a super heavy topic. I, know. Is. I was not expecting you to go there, especially with me. Who's not super <laughs> heavy. Um, right. But like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what's like, what's really at the, the root of all of this, but I'm really, I'm, I'm I'm easier dis uh, easily distracted more so now than I ever have been and I'm not like like I said like work isn't really suffering like this is a good year for me like all things considered um like clients aren't suffering like you know it's it's not really impacting anything I could be doing better but anytime there's like a personal thing um like or not personal, but like work related, but for my own business or for, for something that would benefit me, I'm having a lot harder a time to get started on that stuff where instead I've got this free time. I could do something like go on a hike or I could get out, I could go somewhere and yeah, like, I don't know. It's, 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 it's getting harder and harder for me to sit still in an office all day, which is troubling because I should be used to that. Like I've been doing that for 10 years. Yeah, I think, I mean, what we keep referring to it at our house is just like Groundhog Day, like every day, yeah. weekdays, weekends, it's just the same shit every day. And like, you know, usually, you know, before all this on the weekends, we, you know, uh, we live in a tiny little town. So we would drive 30 minutes away to one of the bigger towns to eat something decent for lunch or mm. go shopping or whatever, you know, just get out and about there. just for the sake of, yeah. It. yeah. And, and so, you know, we've had a running joke now, which 
it's like six months old. It's not even funny anymore, but we continue to do it. Like wake up on Saturday morning and go, okay, what are we going to do today? And whoever, whoever gets asked that question, will come up with all these fun things we wish we could go do knowing that we're just going to like sit our ass in the living room all weekend because it's not really a great idea to get out and about too much, you know, and especially earlier during all this, we were going to like the state parks and stuff like that. But now it's a hundred degrees in Texas. It's mm-hmm. miserable all day long. So there's nothing you can do outside right now. Uh, that's enjoyable. But I think part of this is just like, just groundhog day. And like, there's no new stimuli, you know, it's just kind of the same you know, you're used right. to sitting in an office, but you're also used to experiencing some new things every week. And we haven't experienced new things in a while. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I didn't get out that I'm, 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 I'm a homebody and I've always been, and I enjoy that. Like that's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, but that, that Thursday get together with, uh, with the same group of friends that I've been doing since I turned 21, like literally every Thursday, I think uh, up, up until this happened, I might have missed five in, you know, however many years, like, what is that? 10, 11 years. That's right. insane. Um, so to have that taken away and plus the, uh, the group of friends that I hang out with, um, one of them, the, like the, the primary like anchor of this group, mm-hmm. uh, he works in nursing, um, and not only nursing, like, so he works at a nursing home, um, but also in the food department or the dietary department there. So even getting together on weekends is tough because he has to like really make sure that he's, uh, he's isolated. Right. So that just adds that extra complication where like, you know, if, if I had friends that weren't like in nursing and like had to, right. to be se- uh, separated, like it wouldn't be as much of an issue because then, you know, weekends it's open to to do stuff but not here so i don't know i think that once all of this stuff uh like starts to to normalize or go back to to some semblance of what it used to be um like i was actually just talking to uh to a friend that i think it's def it, it's it's probably a good thing in a way that uh that i'm feeling all of this right now because when we do go back to that uh that point of like normality um, when somebody invites me to go somewhere or they're like, Hey, I'm going to Europe for a week. Like, do you want to go? Right. I'm going to have a lot like harder a time to say no, which is good because I feel like, like, again, thinking about like growing older and all of these things, like I need to go out and do things. And I I think my mind is just wandering to these places while I'm sat here, you know, trying to work and it's just, it's making it, it's making it kind of tough. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to figure out what to do right now. You know, the, the only thing I can think of that might be helpful is, you know, we, we took a little bit of time away and we just rented an Airbnb in a different town uh, in Hmm. San Antonio. So it was a little ways away from here. Um, We didn't do anything, but we sat somewhere else, which was nice. (laughs) Uh, We got takeout from some different places we'd never tried before. Um, And I felt a little bit better about the Airbnb situation. There was nobody there for like several days before we showed up and then we had a whole house to ourselves you know so it wasn't like hotel where we're like mixing and mingling with a bunch of people you know Um, but you could you could go do something like that at least that'd be out of routine for a little while it's not a bad idea or like even just getting out like into the woods and go camping for a long weekend or something like yeah see i don't i don't like going somewhere where there's not electricity so camping's out for me (laughs) that's fair i need wi-fi man but yeah, I mean, that's, that's something that's uh, like, I wanted to bring this up because I can't be the only person that, uh, no, that works sure at home that's, that's having like these types of feelings and this, uh, this like this wanderlust and being stuck with your own thoughts and, and all of that. So I'm curious to see um, what other people are doing to, to kind of like mitigate this, like what, what like people in, in tab are, are doing on the weekends or, or what they're, what they're doing to, to stop all of these days just blending together. Yeah. And I think it'd be interesting too, to find out like how it compares different to people who are like married and have kids. Like I'm in a house with, with several other people, other people <laughs> you know what I mean? That all have their, the kids are back in school and uh, home, you know, virtual school, uh, but they all have things going on. So I have a whole like g- group of people that were like 
we have individual interactions and group interactions with our, you know what I mean? So I think that's probably different too, and, and a little bit easier and probably harder in some ways right. uh, for, for people that are, that have a different family situation they're living with at home. Yeah, that's true. And like, I mean, I, I know a lot of people are, are not used to being together with the people that they're like together with as much as they have been like case yeah. in point, my neighbors uh, across the road when all of this, like before all of this started, like nicest people in the world. Um, and then like, as all of this has progressed, like the, uh, the loud arguments are getting louder. Like, so I think, I don't know, man, <laughs> it's like, it's a, it's an insane world out there right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Hopefully it feels like it might be getting better, but I've watched less news recently. So maybe that's just my perception. Who knows? Right. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's my ask uh, for anybody reading or watching um, would be to to drop a, a comment and just say like you know let me know what you guys are doing like inspire me to to get out there and and try to make all of these days less samey. Yes, that's a good idea. I like it. Awesome. Well, I think that uh, that covers just about everything. I will uh, I will say. Um, me and Matt are planning on something pretty cool for the group that's not going to happen for a couple months now, uh, mm -hmm. but it's going to be super exciting. Uh, I'm going to start teasing the idea that I'm going to be teasing something soon. Um, so get the excited about the, that. The preemptive tease. Yes, the tease to the tease. Uh, but we're going to we're going to be doing something pretty neat in the group. I'm guessing probably sometime in October or early November. So you can definitely check that out. Uh, if you don't have a copy of the website owner's manual, the WOM, you can put in the coupon code podcast and get 20% off of that right now. I'm going to leave that up for a few weeks. So if you use a coupon, you can go to the admin uh, click on the WOM in the main menu and use the coupon code podcast. And that will knock 20% off of that for you. And other than that, I think that's all I got, Matt. Is, is there anything I didn't cover that you wanted to make sure we got to? No, I don't think so. It's uh, it's a different episode than it, than it usually is. We didn't really talk about uh, <laughs> about web stuff, but I no, think... not really at all. No, it's funny. We we haven't been discussing what each other's topics are going to be, but both of us went outside of uh, outside of WordPress for our uh, for our conversation today. Yeah, and both uh, both kind of mental health topics. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yours a little heavier than mine. Mine yeah. was play guitar more. Yours was journaling and no i'm just kidding with you <laughs> thinking about death <laughs> <laughs> thinking about death awesome all right guys well i appreciate everybody listening and hanging out inside the group if you enjoy this podcast and the best way to help us is to subscribe subscribe to our channels like and share everything you can and uh keep hanging out with us inside the group it's all free it's easy it takes very little time and it greatly helps support the show we will catch you all on the next one bye-bye see you